Hey guys, V here. We're gonna review this Fire X 12,220. But first, we're gonna do the backstory. In the 1970s, Fire X was founded by, by Maple Chase Incorporated and introduced the Fire X FX lineup. In fact, the first FX model was sold so well that they made the FX W first. They also made the FXW lineup, the um, FX1020, and the FX1218, the last model of the FX lineup. And next, and then the G lineup came in. The G, the FX twelve eighteen also has a battery backup. Now we're going to the G lineup segment. The G lineup it comprises the G six, the G eighteen, and later the four one two one six, which was a direct successor, one of the successors to it. The only difference being it had a hush button. In this case, we're looking at a G18 that was busted by me, but I banged it a bit. None of the G smoking arms with the G lineup had a backup battery. So, these darn crows are a little loud, so I have to talk a little louder than normal in these, like, the normal videos. So... And then, in the 1990s, um, FireX introduced several models with false alarm control and battery backups. The 4418, the 4518 lineup, which, I mean, the 4418 and the 4518 lineup, and the 4618, 46182, and 5000 lineup, along with some carbon monoxide alarms. And it then, FireX in the 2000s started going downhill. So they tried saving the 12,000, 7,000, and 10,000 lineup is where the last hook. Last hopes to save the company. And then in 2008, just a couple years after the launch of these, a recall happened that's no longer in effect because and it's just for historical information purposes only now. So, due to a malfunction, okay, by the way, it's just that why it was recalled. But prior to June of 2007, these those weren't. That well, those prior to 2002 and 2007 were not affected. But since this is, the recall is no longer in effect, it's just for informational purposes only. I got this legally since it's a. And also, it was made in 2007, September of 20, 25th. So. This was in the recall period, but it, since it wasn't, the recall wasn't around any, at the time now, in 2020, wasn't affected anymore in 2020, it was legal to sell. Now, now I'm going to get my ear protection back on, I'll be right back, and then we'll be turning this alarm on. Kind of pinched my fingernail on the, the, the metal, you now it's time to activate it and test it. How about we do it in the dark? I also opened the curtain up a little bit so we can so you can see you know the, so let's let's test it.
All right, now the test is over. We're gonna turn the light back on. So I'll be right back after that. Now with the light back on, we're gonna do a compare the comparison. The four six one eight is a little smaller than this. And after this, we're gonna do the end of the backstory. Since that was just the end of the fire axe, the part of the axe. The backstory when fire axe was truly fire axe. Now we're gonna do the, the Kidda era of the backstory, which is chapter two. The second and final chapter. Sadly, in 2009, fire axe was no more after Kidda bought them out from Maple Chase. But, on the bright side, in 2010, they introduced this. The i4618. This one's kind of busted, but still. Which had almost the same dimensions as the 4618. Which had the dimensions that were almost the same, making it a direct swap. Just the i4618 was slightly larger than that. It's a little, it's thicker plastic. It's a little taller. I'll show you. This is the four six one eight. You can see, not that tall. Not that t is tall, but the i four six one eight was a little taller. That's the end of this comparison of the i four six one eight versus FADC. And now we're gonna show you. The Chungus, this one, which is the second part of this comparison. The Firex 4618. Now look at the four the I. I mean that's an FAD. Now first look at the I the FADC. Excuse me there, stutter a bit. Now look at the I4618, and now look at the the um. Excuse me there, the the twelve thousand two twenty. Now, let me show you what you get in the box. You get the alarm, you get the, bra the mounting bracket, the owner's manual, the um, the owner's manual, the worn, these back stickers, usually one of these are used on these already, so you don't have to do it yourself. And last, um, the warning stickers, the real ones, and then, the original mounting hardware. These are all original. And inside, the original battery. There's the chirp when you take the battery out. Now it's time to take the battery out and let me show you the original 8-year, like, 13-year-old battery. The original 13-year-old battery. It is right here. Flip it up. Right. Upright. Focus camera. There you go. Here it is. It's an energizer 522. This actually tested 8 volts, which is actually not that good. But it didn't chirp, which is nice. Now. We're not going to be opening the manual just in case if there's any copyright. So. I want to see if here's the front, here's the the back. Anyways, this is the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two, Scambot Outlook. Anyways, hopefully you like this video. Bye.